Oh, the best. Ah. Hey guys, it's Natasha, and today I'm going to be reacting to Logan Paul. Why 2017 was the best year of my life. It's like a review on 2017. Um, it came out yesterday, and I'm really excited. Let's get started. Don't try this at home, buddy. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, man. Ow! Ah. Are you okay? No, that hurt, bro. Okay, hey, yo, good morning, little guy. What's poppin'? Oh, man. The 2017 year in review video. Where do I begin? I guess I could start with this. At 22 years old, I bought my first house for $6.5 million and moved my two boys in with me. What's up? Hey! But I wasn't quite I satisfied, so I had a koi pond put in. Painted the walls of the guest house. Bought a giant truck known as the Yeti. Bought a school bus, and then turned it into a cool bus. Installed a home theater system. Wait, he did? More material objects. Guys, the point is, I bought a lot of things. Including this Rolex. Hey guys, anyways, 2017 was the year of Logan Paul. This was my rocket fuel year. Hi, how you doing? This was the year that the two first names, Logan and Paul, became a household name. Now, before you make your judgments, let me stop you guys. The legend Muhammad Ali once said, it's not bragging. Huh, if you can back it up. Wow. Your boy put a dent in the universe this year. Let's start with number one, internet domination. Logan, we became the fastest channel to hit 10 million subscribers in the history of YouTube. I'm definitely ah. proud of him for that. It took us 333 days and I got my diamond plaque, which was pretty cool. But the plaque was only a small representation of how strong the Logan Gang truly is. I realized our true power after we made history by shutting down the Dubai Mall with the biggest meet and greet in the world. Yeah. Which is crazy, honestly. That's crazy. Next level, guys, 2.8 billion views on YouTube this year. Even old people know who I am. I also continue to break down the barriers of traditional Hollywood as internet star turned actor. I can't wait to watch Even Valley Girl. Mickey Bowen in a movie called Valley Girl. This will be my first movie going into theaters. Uh, it's coming out next year, June 29th, by the way, so save the date. Yeah. But yeah, it was produced by MGM. It's that, that lion that roars. Yeah, that's the one. I also did a movie called The Thinning, too. It'll come out next year around the same time on YouTube Red, so save that day, too. I haven't even watched The Thinning yet. I feel like a bad fan. I also did a second season of my show, Logan Paul vs. I went on an episode of Top Chef. I did a demolition derby. I wrestled an alligator. I dressed up as an old person for the day and went to a retirement home. Oh, yeah. I hitchhiked from Canada to Mexico. And I was the mayor of a small town in Louisiana for a weekend. And lastly, let's not forget about my movie, Airplane Mode, starring your favorite social media stars coming to YouTube. I'm going to watch that. January. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you that, but... <laughs> yeah, bro! Yeah, yeah. So that's cool. That's poo -poo. But the biggest game changer for me, the thing that helped me build all of this, is when I started the hottest clothing line on the market, Maverick by Logan Paul. Definitely a big achievement. We had our first Maverick pop-up shop in New York, and we shut down Soho for three days straight. It was insane seeing everyone joining the revolution and following the brand. Literally, we cost New York City police a quarter million dollars because the planning wasn't the best. That's my bad, New York. Oh, I also took my shirt off. <laughs> What's new? But it's funny because the second pop-up store was actually on a first-class flight to Dubai. Still can't believe he does that. That's pretty neat. Get kicked off, even though he was in the middle of the air. So. 
And just a little forewarning, I don't think I'm allowed to fly on the airline <laughs> again. Throw me off the plane. But it's all good, because that was fire, baby. <laughs> wow, life is amazing. Guys, I've learned a lot this year, too. And I think even though I'm a young chach, everyone can take a piece of wisdom with them from my experiences, because I've done a lot of Guys, I believe that life is all about a mindset. It's about perspective or how you look at things. For example, check this out. Hey. So for me, guys, the grind is real. Like, I'm barely sleeping. But I found what it is that I love. So I started saying, I don't work, but I work hard. Maybe start thinking like this. I don't have to go to work. I get to go to work, right? I don't have to go to school. I get to go to school. I get to learn, think, grow better. Because not everyone has that luxury. That's a fact. <laughs> Needless to say, 2017 was absolutely crazy. But let's go rapid fire for a second, because here are some things I left out. I shipped my roommate Evan to Paris in a bag. I crashed France's first ever Saturday Night Live. I hung out with The Rock again. I faked my death and then got kicked out of my apartment for that. But then I moved and then also got kicked out of that apartment too. I officiated a wedding. I filled my brother's pool with slime, presented a Billboard Music Award, filled my bus with balls, caught a homeless guy trying to steal my bus, and touched reptiles with my mom. Yeah, yeah, so I also um, had the Secret Service arrest my brother Jake. Hey, hey, yo, fight it, yo, hey, 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 that was my favorite video. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said though guys, we made up with each other. Like I actually love the kid. Jake, I love you. I love you, Shit. my bro. Side note, uh, don't use us as examples when it comes to how to handle your family. That's beef that should have stayed offline, but we're both stubborn and our egos aren't too big. <laughs> okay. I met a boy band named Why Don't We? I adopted Why don't we? my little brothers, then directed a music video of theirs that got 30 million views, then made a song with them that got 169 million views that you may have heard. Help me help you. Girl, what, what you trying to do? Cause I don't got a clue. No, I ain't no skill we do. Girl, what you trying to do? Guys, I also made a song with Designer. I flew a fan to Los Angeles to make a music video with him. I won two Teen Choice Awards. I then flew to Tennessee to watch the solar eclipse. Then I made it on Jimmy Kimmel. And then I broke a Maverick Bugatti. Yes, I broke that. And then I went to the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa. Hey. I'm almost done. Okay, I got a dog named Kong. I got tackled at VidCon, vacationed in Hawaii, got paparazzi on the beach in Hawaii. That wasn't cool, by the way. I gave a little gangster a tattoo, bought my roommate Evan a Rolex, then bought him diamond grills, bought myself diamond grills, got crazy at Burning Man, flew to Italy to surprise my brother, got arrested by Italian police, bought the biggest pumpkin in California, dropped it, used a crane to take a ride down my new street, dropped 3,000 pounds of dry ice into my pool, made 40,000 tons of snow in my front yard, surfed down the street on a Christmas tree, put a million Christmas lights on my cool bus. Ah, and if there's one thing I've learned. They say life is short, right? But this year, I realized life's not short. You just gotta do more. Preach. Here's some other stuff I learned from this year. Number one, exceed expectations. It's not overachieving, but it's always doing that little extra step to impress people. Two, the theory of yes but no, where everything is possible until it's not. And even then, it's still possible. <laughs> Number three, your team, your squad, the people who you surround yourself with. Make sure there are people who are willing to put their heart and soul into every project you undertake and people who are just as crazy as you. Be, be a maverick. Don't be afraid to go right when they go left. That's how you dent the universe. What is no one else doing? It's called market making. Personally, my goal isn't to be the biggest actor in the world or even the biggest businessman. I'm going to be the biggest entertainer on the planet. So I got to do both of those things. And it's so crazy because the scary part is the part that most people don't understand. 
I'm just getting warmed up. And at the end of every year, I hope I can stand on this planet and say, this has been the greatest year of my life! <laughs> Well, now I'm crying, like, that's amazing. Honestly, Logan has done so much for his fans, and he deserves all that he has. And if 14 million is it, then he deserves that everything. Logan did a good job on that video. Same for Brendan, because he was filming it. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed, go subscribe. Um, comment down on what you want me to react to next, and maybe I'll react to it. Um, anyways, I will see you guys when I see you. Bye!